Montreal Park mass shooting at a dancing club where a gunman shot 10 people dead and 10 more wounded in a critical condition. It happened on the 21st of January, Saturday. And I heard it when I went to church at the Peninsula Bible Church here in Palo Alto. And Sister Joanne was praying for those in critical conditions. That is where I got to hear about this news. This is the fifth mass shooting just this year, 2023. And it is crazy. It happened after the Asian Lunar New Year ce celebration that a gunman opened fire in a dancing club killing 10 people and wounded many people as well. I was in Los Angeles just last Friday on the 20th of January, 2023. And when I was there, my spirit was not happy because I saw so many things that made me sad anytime i entered the metro the bus and on the streets you will see mad people all over junkies all over and i was very sad i don't know what the american government is doing about this it is not good for people in the streets and in the metros it is not good. The government have to do something about it. I remember that I took a coach and inside one coach, nobody was able to stand in the coach because it was thinking. Mad people, junkies in that coach all over, taking place all over. In Los Angeles, it was not nice at all. Even though the city looks beautiful, looks fantastic, but what I saw was not pleasant at all. And I don't know what the American government is doing about this. America is helping a lot, helping so many nations, so many individuals but they need to take care of the junkies and the mad people on the streets legalizing weed and all stuff they have to do something about it they have to do something about the way and manner that people get access to to guns and weapons that can kill Please, American government, do something about this. I am still here in Palo Alto, still here in California, and I'm sad. Today is 22nd, Sunday, 22nd January, 2023. I just left Los Angeles last Friday. And just this Saturday, 24 hours, this has happened. I feel so sad about this situation. And may the Almighty God help and heal those that are in critical conditions. If you haven't heard, please watch this. In America, in 2023, and it's January 22nd. So in 22 days this month, we've already had five mass shootings around the country. This is the deadliest of all of those five. In fact, this is the deadliest mass shooting since uh, May of 2022, when 21 people were killed in Uvalde, Texas. Many of those 
um, school children. Um, but now we go from that tragedy in Texas to this tragedy in Monterey Park. One would assume that um, most, if not all, of the people involved in this are adults. If they're out at a dance hall on a Saturday night at 10 o'clock, we don't know that for sure. I don't know if there was a uh, 21 and over uh, rule for this particular event. We need to get some clarity on what exactly it was. Uh, we do know that that festival that drew tens of thousands, if not 100,000 people to Monterey Park, uh, is a big family-friendly festival with people of all ages out to celebrate, celebrate this important milestone, um, and celebrate after COVID when a lot of people weren't able to celebrate, and celebrate a coming together um, after this community faced so much anti-Asian hate. Um, but today, instead of a celebration, uh, we are dealing with this. Let's go back now to Mario Ramirez. He's in Alhambra. This second scene, uh, which may or may not be connected to what we're looking at in Monterey Park. What's going on in Alhambra now? Yeah, Alex, so we've moved from the front entrance of Lai Lai's dance studio and ballroom to the back. So what you see here, we still have Alhambra police on the scene and what look like private sheriff's investigators and crime scene analysts. You can see they're sort of uh, working that doorway. We've seen them uh, testing for fingerprints here. And uh, this is that second location that they are still treating as a separate incident from what we know. Lai Lai ballroom and studio here in Alhambra. It appears they were hosting some sort of celebration for that Chinese Lunar New Year, and uh, this is very close, 10 minutes and less than two miles from that initial location in Monterey Park, where we could see all of those outdoor tents for that celebration. Uh, the initial shooting happened uh, before 11 o'clock in a ballroom and dance studio there, and uh, there were initial reports that the suspect may have been at this location and may have been disarmed. None of that confirmed right now. Uh, we can tell you that uh, some witnesses is reported that the weapon being used was a long weapon, appeared to be semi-automatic, but that has not been confirmed as well. So we know the Sheriff's Homicide Bureau now investigating, working with Monterey Park Police, the Governor's Office of Emergency Services, several other agencies, and uh, we've seen them here basically going in and out of this building. I also saw another investigator holding a bag of what appears. So again, we don't know if this is directly connected to that uh, first initial shooting scene where 10 people were killed and another 10 were sent to hospitals uh, with various injuries ranging in conditions from stable to critical but an active scene here at this dance studio again very close to that initial location less than uh, 10 minutes two miles away here uh, from Monterey Park so a very active scene uh, we still haven't been able to, to figure out if there was anyone who was witness to what happened here but um, it looks like uh, someone may have come in through the front entrance, may have ran out through the back and then into this parking lot. Uh, that is just speculation based on what we've seen uh, these crime scene analysts and uh, investigators doing here at this location. So uh, just a tragic story to report this morning and uh, more activity here at this location, but still not confirmed if it is related to that initial shooting scene. That's the latest here in Alhambra, Alex. And Mark